Uh, I think that you don't choose your emotions, they're just responses to what's happening externally to you. I think that emotions are very easy to choose and I believe that your portrayal of your emotions is the choice of your emotions and I think that by deciding to portray anger through maybe a frown or hitting a pillow is the expression of your emotions so I think you can choose your emotions. Maybe the reaction of your emotions you can choose, but emotions are a hormonal response. You can't choose your hormones. I agree with Isaac. Response is a lot of what uh, your emotions are. So if you, for example, the way you express your emotions is everybody ex everybody's external um, perspective on your emotions. So may you might not control them yourself, but you can control how they're expressed. Uh, yeah, as well, like in like TV and thing, people can like show their emotions really easily, like different ones, and those are always controlled. They're not like you don't make yourself cry. I mean, you could, but like that's not what happens. But in TV and movies, those emotions aren't real. They're fake. They're acting. So, so no. Yeah, I mean, I agree that you can choose how you respond to an emotion, but you can't choose the underlying emotion. I know this is a bit out there, but I, I think that how the, the perception of emotion is what emotion is, and without, without a different perception of different emotions, I think it would be very difficult to define what, what emotion is. So I believe that how you, you portray your emotions and how it's received by other people are in fact you choosing your emotion. But surely you could feel an emotion like being sad or angry and come across as completely happy. That doesn't mean that you're happy. Just because other people perceive you like that doesn't mean it's true. But wasn't that like, that wasn't really, like if you're upset and you hide it, that's like, you're not letting your emotions get the better of you, you're like hiding it, so. At least how I interpreted it, maybe I interpreted it wrong, but Isaac, Isaac said that emotions are how other people perceive it, so if you were to be smiling, I perceived you as happy, then that would mean that you're happy, but if it inside you could be like, you know, so, so sad, and it wouldn't, I wouldn't know. But surely that is controlling your emotions, because you're not showing them, so you're controlling what you're feeling. That's controlling the reaction of your emotion, not your actual emotion. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Um, I think that the emotion is something internal. It doesn't have to correspond to how you act. That is the emotion. If you're able to always act according to how you control your emotion to be, then is there any difference between that and actually feeling the emotion? Are you trying to say you've never been sad but had to smile? Like, is, is that what you're trying to like show? Because I'm sure everybody has felt like a different emotion to what other people perceive them to be like. But that emotion's still there. It's just their reaction which is controlled. I believe there's a difference between a controlled emotional response and a, um, a misrepresentation of your emotions. So I, I believe that you can always control your emotional response. And I think how people perceive different emotions is and will always be um, controlled by how people output their genuine and honest reactions to their emotions. Whilst I think you three are, are, are discussing like lying and mis misrepresenting your emotions, which I think is a different thing to controlling or just receiving your emotions. Thank you.